Oh, crap. That's such actually kind of a long way to run. Let's see if I can just kind of shortcut my way through there. What the hell? What is this? Oh, he didn't... It's not a normal death. He took me somewhere. Okay. Got some weird shit going on. Yahargul, the unseen village. But still counts as a death. No 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 souls left. Thick coal blood. Madman toils surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon. Okay. Frenzy cold blood. There's a woman here. Oh, please leave me be. Don't take me, please. Oh, please, dear God. Oh, please leave me. Don't. Oh. Oh, okay, that's all she says. Oh. All right. So she's cowering over here. I don't even know where I am. That guy does some special death. Hell no. Tortured somebody. How the hell do I get out of here? I gotta find a lantern. If I can find a lantern, I'll get out of here. Why'd the music pick up? Oh, it's fucking him. Forget that shit. I'm going this way. Nice and loud. The whole place is filled with them. All prisoners, I guess. Oh, fuck. Oh, forget this. You see how many of them there are? Okay, you can't go through the door, but this doesn't open from this side. I really fucked up now, man. I have no clue where I am or how to get out of here. Just my luck I would wander into a high-level area. take my chances with this one guy what the oh, that's just his body wigging out here we go 
Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. Got a lantern. Get me out of here. <laughs> get me get me the fuck out of here. I don't know. So I guess maybe I was close to the entrance and that guy took me inside. Maybe. One thing I know for sure is I'm not going to do anything there for a long time. Alright. Well, the real thing I kind of have to do is go back and get my blood echoes from where I died. I can upgrade this because I have twin bloodstone shards again. And there's some more to upgrade the pistol. I'm not going to do that. Oh, my weapons are repaired. Oh yeah, fortification repairs them. I forgot. Physical up at full HP plus 2.7%. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, I'll do that. This only has one spot, unfortunately. Mega increase to blood attack. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods. And the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. I think I already got this one. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think I already got that one. Alright, or maybe not. I'm pretty sure, I guess, well, it was kind of like a valley, I think. The town was abandoned and filled with beasts, but then again, that could be anywhere. Oh shit, look where it was. It's over here, the unseen headstone. Well, forget that. I'm going back, I'm getting my souls, and then I'm gonna completely forget about that area. Look, that's like the third the third linking area. Well then never mind that. They spawn me. We'll uh, see if we can run through that area. Try not to kill anything, and then I'm just gonna slip over to the right when I get to that big staircase. Kill the two, the two cane wielding whatever mask men. I wonder. Does this? Can I just go forward? Wait, isn't this the place? Yeah, this is the place, right here. Oh, that's perfect. I was wondering, like, what, are, what like, how far away could I have been? Zach, yep, he's still there. So fuck that. Get my blood echoes. That's rare. Usually when I die in a place like that, I do not get my blood echoes back. Gosh, pimp smap the shit out of me. There you go. Whoop! Alright, but that's good. I'm gonna go and spend my blood echoes then. That's a great shortcut. Really, really good shortcut. All right, so we got a, we got a, you know, a, a waypoint here. I got my souls back, which is pretty good. 
I unplug that. Don't need it. Got the souls back. Or the blood act. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to keep interchangeably calling them that. The currency, the experience, whatever you want to call them. Now let me pop all of this. Frenzied. Wait, what are frenzied blood echoes? I don't know. I'm going to pop the other ones. What is that? 3,600? Nice. Alright, so now I basically doubled my blood echoes almost. Welcome. Channel blood echoes. Alright, so I could probably level up maybe like four times here. Let me do stamina. Health. Twice. And then I can do one more. Let me do strength. So I'll up my main couple of uh, stats there. Over time, countless hunters have visited this stream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Farewell, yeah, which is why she maid. probably wasn't active when I first showed up. Alright, back to the Cathedral Ward. You know, I guess we'll make our way up the staircase again. We'll butcher the big guys and whatnot, and then we'll keep going forward. Oh, look. This woman's here now. Alright, good. I saved her. We can move on. Oh, shit. Locked onto the wrong guy. Gotcha! Leave it to me to pick a fight with a fucking gigantically overleveled guy. I think two of them is a little difficult, especially when they're walking side by side like that. Alright, he's dead. Whoop! <laughs> he does it with his hand. Reach right up, right up into him. Right up the crotch. What's the animation look like? Oh look, there's a place I can get up to and then drop down from. Oh shit, I didn't expect him to do it again. Got him! It's out his heart. Maybe if I let the big guy past, I can slip right by him and I won't- Oh shit, there's two of them. Immune. Actually, it stunned that you see, you see? It stunned him that I ripped the shit out of his friend. That was cool, because he couldn't move. I think the big guy is looking at me. There you go. That's how you backstab in this game. You have to charge it up by hitting some, or hitting him with a heavy attack. So instead of it being like a simple button push where, oh, you're behind someone, you pressed R1 while well, you got the backstab. It's a little bit different in this game. 
You have to charge up your uh, your super. This guy is a fucking. Whoa, shit! Actually, this is a pretty good idea. What the what? Activated flip mode. I guess he doesn't flinch as easily. He was gonna do a spin attack too. There you go. They're all the same. I love the sound effect for uh, doing the finisher. Okay, we got, like, I like usual, a couple of different ways to go. For whom does the bell toll? Okay, this looks like a boss room, so forget that. I also wonder if enemies respawn infinitely, or if there's a limited, you know, finite spawn of enemies in this game. You know, whether they're they're channeling Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. Can you get on the roof? Oh yeah, you sure can. I don't know if there's any real reason to do it. It's like if you fall onto that roof, you can get an item, but then you're going to be stuck there and you have to go down. What is it? Oh, this is... A oh my god, it's another gigantically overleveled guy. And a sniper, really? See, he's using spread shot. He's covering his friend very nicely. His friend is dead. Yeah, his gun his gun looks like a shotgun actually. Bolt paper. Okay, maybe not. Asshole. That's all he's gonna do. I don't think I can roll fast enough once he fires it. But oh, there you go. Well, it's not rolling, it's quick stepping in this game. Shit. See, he's trying to get me with it. What did he do? He, like, changed up his, like, weapon. Tell me how I, I went right through that with a forward step. You know that was hot. I went right through whatever he was doing with a forward step. Ten quicksilver bullets, so I got all my bullets back. Uh, okay, some guy probably got, like, double teamed. Okay, hello. Okay, someone's just telling them to bless them with blood. Okay. I think I found, like, the chapel or something with all the crazy people. Well, then again, that's, like, every area in the game. I don't know, man. I guess the the people in From Software just like to have you know creepy ass games, With a creepy ass cast of people, more frenzied cold blood. It probably just gives you a ton of souls. There's probably no difference between frenzied blood and normal blood. Okay, 
got two different ways to go here. Oh fuck me! It's another one of these guys. I don't want to. I don't want anything to do with them. Fuck that. You can stay where you are. Do not have the stats. To, I got twelve thousand souls. I'm not about to fuck with him. He can go away. I'm about to go back and level up again. He can stay perched on that little cliff of his. Oh shit, it's another one of those big guys and look, a fucking sniper. Well, I'm not gonna go this way either. <laughs> Obviously what I was supposed to do was just go into the cathedral. Or, well, whatever big church area that is. Not dick around out here. Oh, I will go back up. Let's try this way. Bloodshot eyeball. Old hunter's mark. Yeah, forget this. All right, let me go back and level up. Use those frenzied souls, and then uh, then I'll come back. I, I'll explore this area over here to the left. I mean, that other one to the right doesn't look too terrible, but that's one of the big guys, I think, that gave me like my first death in the game. So, don't really feel like messing with him right now. Oh, wait. Gotta go down one more. So I don't know if these guys just appeared now or if they've been here for a while. Probably been here, you know, they've been here the whole time, but I guess if you die by them. Oh look. Oh hello there. Perfect. Like a time. person with a chrome mask. Oh, it's the person from before. I warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. And he's my Okay. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Wall. I have business. <laughs> I think I've already done that, so too bad for you. Probably the guy who was spraying me with the Gatling gun. these gigantic souls. Yeah, frenzied cold bloods. Damn, they each give you 2,000. What did he do? I don't... I don't get it. What? How did he die? Welcome. What is... Very well. Let me stand. They like, I don't even know, whatever. See, I don't really know what skill does. It's, it's like that stat, it's kind of like, you know, dexterity or whatever, but I haven't really had any need to work with it, really. Blood Tenge does, uh, I think, blood attack, right? Yeah, weapons that use quicksilver bullets, but really, I don't use those for damaging. Obviously, you know, upping 
both my strength and my endurance are pretty important, I'd say. Farewell, good me. What the hell? This is a... Oh, so I guess maybe it's like different worlds or something. That one has like a skull on it. This one's nice and orderly. And this one looks, I guess, like generic-ish. So this is like the town, probably like a very ornate place here. Awakening headstone, uh, Yarnum headstone, so somewhere awakening. And then this must be like the unseen area, the whole thing that has to do with that. And then here's another awakening one. I guess I don't know uh, where it leads to, and when I do, it'll, t it'll change the name, maybe. I need one more twin bloodstone shard. I mean, I could upgrade the saw spear. I mean, I haven't really used it. This one's better. This other one really isn't that good. Still can't do the memory altar. The healings were once guardians of the hunters. In the times of the hunter, Ludwig, they worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters, but they have much to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. Ascend to Erden Chapel. Ascend from there. Church work. Okay, so I do need to go to the church workshop. I'm not really in a particular mood to die again. Let's go into this room and let's see what happens. Now that I don't really... Uh, well, I could have bought some supplies, I guess. 